an octave so we've never heard in the service. Right. Oh and he'll leave all that just to come for one of his redeemed daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Out of key, off key. <laughs> come on, somebody. Yeah. No key. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. He'll take, he'll take all he is and all he has, and it'll, he'll be attracted to somewhere where one of his redeeming angels up there scratching wingtips. Come on, somebody can't figure it out. Why would he leave the atmosphere of the type of praise that we can give and call what they're doing perfected praise? And pick up his throne and go there. I got a feeling today God's saying I'm just longing to leave Michael and Gabriel and all the rest of the hosts of heaven and just to gather up somewhere with my throne and all my power Amen. We're one of my redeemed to rejoice with me. I'll meet with him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you come for a God meeting, get up on your feet. Glory to God. Let's go ahead and sing this song. I've come to meet with him. Hallelujah. Lord God, we come to rejoice and meet with you today. We long for you. We thirst for you, the living God. Thank you, Jesus. You can turn it on, brother. You had to start it over because it went up and I didn't hear what it cued.
come to meet with you. Not with merely something, but someone. Hallelujah. God, we're here to experience more than power. There's a person we pursue. We've come to meet with you. Hallelujah. You said if ye then be an evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit unto those who ask it? Luke 11, 13. Holy Ghost, you are the greatest reward we can ever receive when praying. For Lord, we realize when we commune with you and fellowship with you, the greatest reward of prayer in that time of fellowship, God is not merely a thing or a result. Lord, it's you, a someone, hallelujah, a person. For God, you have called us to call upon you. Lord God, not just for results, but mainly for relationship. And I thank you today, faithful is he that called you to the fellowship of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. God, you've called us to fellowship, meaning this is the close call. This is the above all close call, God. That is the call of God. Lord, what I'm called to do is not what people see and hear me doing at this moment. This is not what I'm called to do. This is what I'm sent to do. What I'm called to do, Lord God, is spend time with you in a secret place. In fellowship with you and have relationship with you. And anytime, God, we get that out of order. And we think, Lord God, really what we're doing in public is the calling. Lord God, we have missed the calling. Hallelujah. For the calling, God, is to a secret place. Yeah. It's to a place of intimacy with you in prayer. For God, you said in Revelation 22 and verses 17, God, the last statement made in the Bible concerning the Holy Ghost in the church, you said the spirit and the bride say come. Lord God, I believe that's a setting of end times. Lord God, and you called your church a bride. Meaning she was intimate. You didn't say the church in the spirit. You said the bride in the spirit. Meaning those of the church that are intimate with you in a secret place. They would have such a union and oneness with the Holy Spirit, his person and power. That Lord God, when they said come, people would come. Hallelujah. When they called, people would answer the call. Hallelujah. To come. So Holy Ghost, we know it's our intimate relation with you. Holy Ghost that will cause every result, cause everything else to take place. So Lord God, above anything today, we understand the calling. Hallelujah. It's to pray. And we give you glory for it. Help us do that very thing, Lord God. Stir us up so we might call on your name in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen.